Local legislators used the budget process to retaliate against an employee and then raised immunity as a shield against liability in Bogan v. Scott Harris. Fall River, Massachusetts had a Department of Health and Human Services with one employee, Janet Scott Harris. Scott Harris briefly supervised Dorothy Biltcliffe. Because Biltcliffe talked about her colleagues using racial and ethnic slurs, Scott Harris prepared paperwork to fire Biltcliffe. But Biltcliffe had political connections, including to City Council Vice President Marilyn Roderick. The City Council overrode Scott Harris's decision to fire Biltcliffe and instead suspended Biltcliffe. Then Mayor Daniel Bogan reduced Biltcliffe's punishment further. While city officials dealt with the accusations against Biltcliffe, Bogan worked on the yearly budget. Massachusetts was reducing the aid to Fall River by between 5 and 10 percent. The city council approved the mayor's budget, which froze salaries, laid off employees, and eliminated Scott Harris's department, leaving Scott Harris without a job. Scott Harris brought Section 1983 claims against Bogan, Roderick, and several others involved in her termination. Scott Harris alleged that Bogan and the others eliminated her job because of racial animus and in retaliation for Scott Harris's discipline of Biltcliffe, which the First Amendment protected. At trial, Scott Harris lost her claim of racial discrimination but won her retaliation claims against Bogan, Roderick, and Fall River. Bogan and Roderick filed a motion for judgment notwithstanding the verdict, claiming they had absolute legislative immunity. The district court denied the motion, reasoning the budget wasn't the result of neutral legislation but an individually targeted administrative act. Bogan, Roderick, and Fall River appealed. Though the First Circuit found for Fall River, it affirmed the verdicts against Bogan and Roderick. The Supreme Court granted cert.